You're watching Rebel Gaming Club. Rebel Gaming Club. Rebel Gaming Club. Start the show. Rebel Gaming Club, Worst Pickup, episode 24! 2, 4, 24! <laughs> well, it's another week and we got some more games. But before we get to the games, we've been tagged. 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 The co-op collector just tagged us. He wanted Tag. to know. He wanted to know what NES games did we have growing up. Well, I mean, I'm old as fuck, so I can answer this no problem. Yeah, a little more than I did. First up, we got Life Force. My uncle Rick had this game. I'd always borrow it, so essentially I had it too. Awesome. Shmup. It's a great game. I remember playing it when yeah. I was younger. And the second one is Baseball Stars. I was obsessed with stats as a kid. None of the other baseball games kept stats. This one kept stats. Saved them. You could do seasons. You could create players, teams, all that good stuff. Um, it still holds up. It's a really fun game. So, yeah, two how games. Wins, how many wins did uh, Nolan Ryan have in... Uh... 1985. 85? 85. Nolan Ryan's hard. It's up and down. I think it was, what, 500% kind of pitcher? You know, you go like 15 and 15 half the time. I'm going to say he probably had 16 wins. No one knows. No All one right. knows. We'll see. It's <laughs> a good question. Put it in. Thank you. Another thing, we won a contest a couple weeks ago. You know, I was, Love winning. I was surfing, I was surfing. I see uh Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Brad and the boys. So we got a package right here. Chasing the classics. They do a, a free weekly giveaway every Sunday. It's really nice of them. Yeah, it is really cool that they do that. And they also do thrifting and uh, and some let's plays on there. Good dudes. So I'm gonna show you what, what we won in the competition here. We got this uh, KB Toys 64 uh, buyer's guide here. That's pretty cool. That's cool, because I like the VHS. We got a Hey You Pikachu Walmart kind of uh, exclusive promotional VHS. That's... We got a Banjo-Kazooie promotional guy here. That's pretty awesome. And then we just got a, I guess this was the for the launch release of the, the 64 promotional they were playing at all the stores. Good old days, VHSs. Yep, that goes right into the collection. Those are, those are all right, but there's something cooler in here that I'm excited about. Yeah, I was also, I was talking to Brad, we were trying to make a trade, but no, nothing really came about. Uh... But he also included a bunch of cards because he, he had shown me these, and I said, "Yeah, I, I'd love oh, those." Yeah. We got a bunch of WCW cards. He said, "El Gigante." Never heard of them. Southern Boys. Never heard of them. Fabulous Freebirds. Never heard of them. What? What? Yes. Uh oh. Flying Brian. Yeah. Yeah. He oh. is fucking crazy. Steiner Brothers. Yep. Fucking Missy Hyatt. Ooh. What? Real big whore. Four horse. Arne Anderson. Yep. Four horsemen. One of them. Wait, are we the four horsemen here? We kind of are. Yeah. Ricky Morton. Rock Ricky and Roll Martin? Express. Like That's super close. Like living La Vida Loca. Yeah. Yeah, him. That Ricky oh. Martin. Oh. Oh, we got Sid Vicious. Oh. Nice. Reminds like me it. of Triple A. Tommy Rich. Never heard of him. Looks like Ric Flair. Pretty much generic. Terry Taylor. We got a bunch in here. These are awesome. 
It's like 15 Arn Andersons. Yeah, it seems like whoever it was just really loved Arn Anderson. And the Freebirds. And actually my favorite one that I initially saw that he had was the Brooklyn Brawler. That's WWF though. It is, but the greatest jobber of all time right here. Well, second best. To? The Elgato. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what he said. What else do we get here? Oh. There's more? There is more. I didn't know about more. I also said I, I won this in a in a, a trade, but it never happened, but he just threw it in there anyways, and this is a wow. Evil Dead 2 figure. This guy's a real fucking gentleman. Yeah, this thing's awesome. That looks like Matthew McConaughey. Smokes some meth. That's Bruce, Bruce Campbell. Campbell. I don't know who that is. Smoking Campbells. My boy Jordan. And we got this uh, Game Boy Advance carrying case. SP. That's Side right. note, I got a, I got a PSP. Doesn't work. Anyone know how to fix it? Let me know. Yeah. So that was the, the contest. Thanks, guys. That was a lot of fun. It's very nice. If you guys haven't, you guys, everyone Shut else the out there, every Sunday they do it. I'll link their channel below so you guys can enter as well. Like, comment, subscribe to those guys. It's Thursday, Ryan. It's Thursday. So we gotta give. You know what time it is? It's time for pickups. It's time for the pickups. Tell them the theme this week, Ryan. PS4. Ah! Fuck yeah. Hey, isn't Jordan gonna show us a PS3 game in the PS4 pickup? Yeah, I left it at home. Oh. Oh shit. Darn. Ah, I guess we're gonna save that for the PS3 episode. It's a One Piece game that was awesome. I mean, I, I believe it. I should have brought the the six PS4 games I just bought, but. Happen. Oh! Oh! First up, guys, we got Dynasty Warriors Empires. It's a Koei title! Koei! I fired this up. It's a lot more going on than your, your standard Dynasty Warriors game. So. I'll be borrowing that. Yep. Next up, we got Grand Ages Medieval. I have yet to play this. I've heard some bad things, That's but. Calypso! You know Calypso? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't either. It's Calypso, man. We got oh, this looks good. Steam World Heist and Steam World Dig sealed. The, the collection. Yeah, I haven't opened and played this one yet. It's supposed to be pretty cool, though. It's a budget title. It does look good. I'm a, excited. A well, I'm sorry. What's the what's the second title after Steam World? A fistful of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like in the mines. Yeah. We Boy, got. It's like after I give the fingers of invasion. I got a fistful of dirt. <laughs> Triple A, that ain't dirt, dog. That ain't dirt. <laughs> Next up, we got a game I put about four hours into yesterday, and that is the dwarfs. Plural. More than one. Yeah, this is this is a lot of fun. This is uh the narration's really good. The story's really good so far. It's uh kind of choose your own adventure, Oregon Trail meets an isometrical battle view of a Diablo with some strategy elements placed in there. Yeah, it's a lot of words. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I love it though. That that's how I describe it though. It's it is a lot of fun. It looks good. Yeah. I I, I was hooked yesterday. I couldn't stop playing. Even though MC Murr hates it. I don't know who that is. I know who it is. The dwarves? I'm dwarven all the competition. Me all of it. What the fuck is this thing? This is the gato. Yeah. Oh, that big fat pussy. Yeah. Running his fucking mouth. That is what do me. you want? Uh, I want your belt. You want this belt? I would like your belt. You interrupted my shit because you think you can fuck with this belt. Yeah, I want to wear that. What the fuck is the matter with you? Uh, PC. You want to fight? Hey, huh? hey, hey, hey. Don't fucking touch my hey, shit! Hey, Don't touch my nipples! You chill out, alright? I wanna fight, but not physically. I wanna have a dance battle. Aerobics. I you wanna, wanna fuck you? You wanna fuck with me aerobically? Aerobically. You ain't got the fucking balls, son! Baby, you know I'm neutered. Next week, aerobic dance battle. This fucking pussy is going down! Me! 
Let me give you a taste of what I'm about to do to this cat next week. Oh, get in that cat. Get in that cat. Hey, get in that cat. Get in that cat. Get in that cat. It's time to cool down. I'll see your ass next week, Gatto. One, two, oh, three. We got worms. I actually got down on this for a I couple hours. Worms, yeah. worms a lot. Of, this is the first worms game I've ever played where I was able to get past the first level. Well, well, that's just... well you're supposed to be playing with people. That's the whole part of worms. I know, but the campaign modes. No one, you're not supposed to. Play. Oh well, that's it's... what I've always tried, and I'm suck, yeah, sucking, yeah, sucking real to play bad with people. That's the only fun part of the game. We got one of my favorite series. We got Dead Rising. I fired. Remastered. Remastered. I fired this one up as well, and. uh... A lot more difficult than number two. Yeah. Because of the saves. Yeah. The save the locations you have to save and it's, it's not that good of a game. I'm gonna say it. It's not that good. Number two is really good though. Yeah. It's still it's not, I don't like it either. Jordan? Arslan, the Warriors of Legend. Whoa. You is it based on an anime, right? I have no idea. Pretty sure it is. I think there is a show where that goes with the game. I'm not sure. Uh it's like Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's what a, it looks like. I mean, it's it's Koei Tecmo. So looks good. Looks fun. But, no, the graphics look great. The reviews seemed all right. Tecmo. We got another, essentially in the same vein. It's uh, how do you pronounce Senran? Kagura. Yeah, is this That's based cool. on another anime? Uh, no, that's just about chicks fighting, uh, and their tits fall out. I was just going to ask that. Yeah. I'm going to be borrowing that one. Do you jerk off to that? I easily could. <laughs> Damn. That's right. That's right. Uh, we got one that I was really excited about. Played it for about an hour and realized I wasn't as excited as I was for the last one. And that is XCOM 2. I forgot that existed. I'm going to be borrowing that one too. Yeah. Because uh, first one was awesome. This yeah, one, that one's probably fun too. It, it, well, you gotta be in the right state of mind. No, you, you'll see. You'll see what I'm saying. Next, we got Blade Storm Nightmare. This is fun. Once again, another Koei title. I mean, we looked at that at GameStop like three times before you bought it. Yeah, no, it's worth it. You big, play it? big open battles, yeah. Big open battles. You're, you're running in, fucking up shit. You're commanding troops. Um, I like it so far. Having a fun time with it. Tropico 5, having a blast with this one too. Um, Is that Key and Peel on the cover? <laughs> no, it looks like it though. Well, that's why people think we're racist. It does look like Key. It doesn't no. Look like that's Fidel Castro, Castro. homie. That's, that's Castro. But Cubans it, and African Americans are a little different. It's your. Well, like only kinda. It's your typical city builder, but it, it's it's got a lot of funny, funny gameplay. Storyline's good so far. I mean, there's been five of them. That's got to be good. Yeah, I, I just hopped on, so I don't know the other four. Uh-oh. And still sealed. <sighs> still I had, sealed. I had to get this. The price came down. It ended up being like 24 bucks, And that is Grand Kingdom. Yeah, yeah NIS. So it's it's got to be all right. I figured there's a problem with PS4 games right now. You know what it is? What? None of us have played these, so none of us know anything about them. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, That's, I, I want to play all those. Did like, the guy on the cover look like Bill Burr? Fuck Bill Burr. Yeah, well, they can't say we're racist now. Dada! 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 We haven't had a shout out in a while, so. Shout out our boy, Jerps93. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. He's doing uh, flea market pickups. He's got his dad in it. Dad's fucking hilarious. He's got beautiful hair. He's got a good beard. He's collecting pop culture shit from the 80s and the 90s. Collecting cups. Everyone loves cups. Jerm, you got this cup? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. You ain't getting it either. I don't think you do. It's collecting records. Jeremy, you got this? 
We are the world? I don't think you do. Jeremy, you got this? You got Teddy? I don't think you do. Alright guys, if you haven't heard of them, you guys need to go check them out. Leave the link down below. Jerps93. Enjoy. That's all it does, right? Alright guys, that concludes this week's episode. Number 24 is in the books. That's right. 24. 24. A shout. You know what we got next week? Well, you saw we got a battle going on next week. We do. We have an aerobic dance battle for the RGC title. It's going to be legendary. I can't wait to see that. You guys, you guys, just be ready. In the comments below, you let us know who you think is going to win that title. I have an idea. I know you have an idea. I do have an idea. I got my money on the Elgato. I think so. I think he's finally going to bust through. He's been on a losing streak lately, but that ain't going to stop him. No. I'm dancing his ass off. And on top of that, next week we have... What are we picking up? It's Atari. 2600. Oh. 2600. We're bringing it back, guys. Old school. Real old school. My buddy Tommy, you saw last week's episode with the NES stuff. He gave me a bunch of games. He gave me a bunch of Atari games as well. Oh. Plus, we have a trade. Oh, yeah. You'll see that as well. That includes some more 2600 games and some other cool stuff. All this and more, guys. Ah, oh, so much more. So we'll see you next week. Like, comment, subscribe. Down below. And share. Share with your friends, guys, if share. you haven't. We're almost to 300 subscribers. Maybe yeah. we'll do a little competition. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. What are you going to give these people? Maybe we'll give them an autograph RGC belt. Whoa. Huh? Huh? That's pretty good. That prize is worth at least $6 if you can get the autographs off of it. Yeah, you gotta buff those out, but. Alright, guys. Till next week. Later, guys. S suck today's dick. It flies down. Yeah, it is. <laughs>